not actually there. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> have you started without me? I did, it was three o'clock. Oh, oh, sorry, I was just getting a good tea. <laughs> There's just everyone tuning in and there's an empty oh, chair. Empty chair. I'm here really. <laughs> Good afternoon everybody. I was just getting a cup of tea. Sorry, let me refresh my page. How are you all this week? Friday. So it must be Friday. It must be alive. Make sure I look at the right camera. I've been so many sew alongs and things this week. It's been lovely. How are you all? You say hello, let me know where you're where you are um, watching us from. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can just see a picture of an empty chair. Seven people are watching that empty chair. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I have here. Just too slow this morning. I know, I was a bit slow. I just had to get my cup of tea. I just made it, it'd be a waste, wouldn't it? It would. So, what have you all been up to this week? Did you have a hailstorm this morning? We had terrible on the way in this morning. Terrible hailstones on the way in. That was a bit of a shock. So we've had a lovely week this week. I've done uh, tutorials and lots of sew-alongs this week. It's been really nice. We've had... Uh, Helen's here. Hi, Helen. Oh. Helen's joining us on our retreat next year. Celia is oh, saying, what, Celia. what top are you hi, wearing? Helen. Helen's in South Yorkshire. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Justine. Oh, Justine's beading. Yes, I know. Justine just says hello and then she's off to her beading group. Hi, Susan. Oh, Celia's asking what top are you wearing? Oh, this is the Maven French dart dress, uh, Celia. We did a sew along a few weeks ago on this and the fabric is a uh, uh, linen and wool from uh, with this cloth. But yes, the French dart dress. You can't really see Maggie. it. Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. How are you? Oh, that's because it's a bit, it says life's a bit longer now, doesn't it? So you can get a bit longer to go and get the horses in. <laughs> Hello, Sally. Mm -hmm. Susan says she's got a hailstorm again. Hi, Sally. How are you? Uh, Julie, Julie Morris on uh, Instagram oh, is saying hey, hello. Julie. How are you? How are you getting on with your Ulysses coat? That's what we were doing this week, the Ulysses coat. Two days ago. Is Julie on. Morris Julie Morris? Julie. Mm -hmm. Well, I can never tell Julie. on Instagram who they are because oh. they have... There was yeah. a, we did have Julie Morris making the coat yesterday. Yes, we did. We did. <laughs> hi, hi, Janet. Hi, Jilly. Hi, Janet. Oh, hi, Jilly. I need to keep scrolling a bit quicker. I keep missing everybody. I know. It's all right. I've got them. Good, good, good. Jilly was, uh, Janet was on our uh, couture sewing this morning. That was fun, wasn't it? Saxon Sews. That's your Oh, one. that's Catherine. How are you? Yeah, she's saying, hi, Claire from Louisiana. Oh, nice to see you. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Uh, oh, Susan wants to know where in South Yorkshire you are, uh, Helen. She she uh, grew up in Ticknell. Tickle. Hi, Phil. How are you? Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Oh, Claire's got her French dark dress on today as well. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's such a nice pattern, Claire. Really loving it. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Ruth. How are you? Hi, Ruth. Julie's saying uh, she's nearly finished her Ulysses. Good. Um, Justine's finished hers, I think, already. Cynthia's Hi. here on Instagram as well. Hi, oh. Cynthia. Oh, she said she was watching us on two videos. Oh, there we go. Uh, Susan Helen's in Rotherham. So there you go. Uh, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. And Gillies from Harrogate as well. So all the ah. North Yorkshire. Is it North Yorkshire, Harrogate? I'm not very good on my Yorkshire. It, um, it's Yorkshire. Geography. It's Yorkshire. Yeah. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, Susan, but Susan didn't come far from where Helen comes from. So there we go. And Helen's got a friend who lives in Tickle. There they go. Well, we're all connecting I'm somehow, ladies. <laughs> we're all connecting somehow. I love that. I love it that everyone, you know, we had some things this, this week. Even even last night, we found out that two ladies were in the army at very similar time. Very close together, actually. Uh, my photographer is home from Austria. Photographer? Ah, that's her daughter. Oh, her daughter's I see. Her in the airport, wasn't she? I hope she got back okay. So she'll be quarantining now, won't she? And Ruth's from North Yorkshire. I went to school in Harrogate. Uh, Look at that. Jilly, that's where we met, Claire. Yes, you met Jilly in Harrogate. You did at the show, that's right. Yes, I love Heather. Her. Hi, Claire. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. Uh, Heather's How's made it women's? this week. Oh, uh, so you've been taking your stepmother to the hospital. Well, I'm glad she's okay and you're, you managed to get with us this week. And uh, Suzanne is working on her pockets of her kimono. Done the homework she's doing too. Her homework. <laughs> Hi Catherine. Hi Catherine, how are you? Having your nice lunch, late lunch break today. <laughs> Catherine was joining us for the Yannicka jacket so long. Uh, is it Catherine on from Louisiana? 
Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, uh, so she fun. says she has her couture samples hanging on the wall and thinks of that class mm. a lot. I do as well. I was just showing some ladies this morning, my, oh, actually last week, my sample that we made, the lovely pale blue jacket. I always talk about that class. We had such a good time, didn't we? I'd like to have a reunion. I saw there's some couture classes going up over, over there in the States. Perhaps we'll have to have a reunion. Margaret is happen. from North Yorkshire too. Oh, Moulton. Moulton. Well, well, who knew? So many <laughs> Yorkshire. Oh, Kathy. It is Kathy. Kathy that's right. Yeah. From Louisiana. Happy birthday. Thank you, Kathy. It's very difficult on Instagram because everybody has their little code name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I try, and the pictures are really tiny, so I try and work out who it is. I always love Kathy's pictures because they just, just um, it's Mardi Gras, isn't it? They have Mardi Gras out there. Reunion, yes. Yeah, I think it'd be a great idea, don't you? And we'll have to, yeah, get the other ladies who are on it Kathy as well. Kathy says, definitely a reunion. Donna, I'm still in touch with Donna as well. Do you remember Kathy? You don't look there with the lovely suits. It's Susan says it's a takeover. It's a Yorkshire takeover, <laughs> a Yorkshire over, takeover. over here on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook's a Yorkshire takeover. Takeover. Instagram's gone stateside. It's all very exciting here today. <laughs> You've got a few ladies who watch us from the states, actually, Kathy. So we've just had two yeah. ladies from um, the states book onto our cruise next year. We have, yes. Lovely Mary from New Jersey and her friend Linda from Mississippi. Oh, that's right. Are joining us on our cruise next mm. year. Our New York. New York fabric sh- uh, garment district. As is it. Helen from Yorkshire. <laughs> yes, that's true. Helen With her friend Lisa. And Lisa, that's right, yes. Uh, I'm really saying she knows uh, Madam... Um, very well, I think that's supposed well. to say. Young, young farmers. farmers. Stomping ground. Oh, um, you're a young farmer. Young farmers are. Oh, I used to be married to a farmer. Yeah, mum knows all about the young farmers. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So yeah, we've had a brilliant week this week. So we had um, <clears throat> quite a few sew-alongs this week. Ulysses Jack Coat took two days, and so you'll be seeing some pictures. I think Justine's finished hers. It looked really lovely, Justine. Well done. I know you're beading, but you'll see some catch up. But um, yeah, it looks so lovely. And uh, so we've all got a little bit of finishing off to do on our Ulysses. Amy's nearly finished hers. Lisa is also from Yorkshire, Helen oh, says. So Helen and Lisa from Yorkshire are coming on the cruise. Oh, brilliant. So good. So <laughs> good. Um, Yes, yeah, so we've, we've, we've been doing the Ulysses coat. We finished our denim jackets this week. Well, saying we finished. We finished the sew along. I've still got some buttons to put on mine. <laughs> this Yorkshire takeover is taking oh, it's over. It's always going. Right, up. Catherine said she lived near Ripon for nine years. Oh. So. <laughs> Who else? Anyone else? <laughs> I want to know now. How many from Yorkshire? Well, I was, I, my, one of my favourite shows is the Harrogate show. So I always meet lots of lovely people from Yorkshire when I do Harrogate. Jenny says, "Oh dear, Ruth, what stories have you?" <laughs> you may have some. You may have some. You never know some stories in common. You never know. <laughs> we'll have to do, have to do a Yorkshire um, get together as well, won't we? We'll do a retreat there. So yeah, denim jacket. So long finished this week. Yannicka Yana jacket was into its second week. So we're all busy Hong Kong binding this week for the uh, Yannicka jacket from. Um, uh, the Liesl, Liesl pattern, some lovely jackets going along there, lovely combinations of fabrics and Hong Kong binding going on there. And then this morning we did our second week of couture techniques. So we were doing a little bit more hand set, lovely, quiet two hours, wasn't it nice? Who was doing that this morning? Suzanne, Suzanne and um, Janet were doing that this morning. Ruth says she can't go there. Uh oh. Laughing face. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> is that what what went on at the young farmers stays in young farmers Ruth? <laughs> so yeah we had to, had a lovely morning lovely quiet morning this morning and then we had a very busy couple of our hours filming some videos so you'll see the results of those we've been non-stop today we've been non-stop today oh, hi jill jill's husband's from north oh there we go we got another one <laughs> young farmer was he <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it was quiet and peaceful. But yeah, apart from the rain and the hailstones on your conservatory roof, <laughs> it was very, um, it was lovely, wasn't it? We just did lovely hand sewing. We did one seam on the machine, and then the rest of it was all hand sewing this morning. So that's lovely. That was uh, the couture, the couture one on a Friday. Just we did lots of techniques, but we are of course doing our couture jacket sew along in a few weeks, which is going to be five days making our couture jacket. So we're, Amy and I are very excited about that. We're still, if anyone check out Linton this week for their, their Wednesday sale. No, Suzanne did. Yeah, so on Wednesday, so Linton are doing their midweek sales on a Wednesday, 24 hours. Um, they're doing a sale every week and there was, what was it, five fabrics? There were five this five week. Five fabrics and some of well, them- Well, when, when I checked it, there were five. There might have been more if we got there on the dot of 12 o'clock, I suppose. But some of them were only 20 pounds a meter. So it's worth having a look. So I'm gonna try and, 
have a, a better look next week because mm -hmm. I need to. Although I've got quite a few skirt lengths, I haven't got a jacket length. So. I've ordered some samples as well for some yeah. of mine. Looks yeah. like can travel soon. Yippee! And travellers can come to Sunny Guernsey too. Oh, so you've oh. had some more restrictions than uh, lifted Suzanne That's in good, Guernsey. Suzanne. That's good. That's excellent. We'll have to do a retreat in Guernsey. <laughs> we will. We could do that. That'd be good. Yeah. Ooh. It's like going on holiday. We have got a few ladies that come over here, Suzanne and her friend, and also um, Kate. Oh, Kate, oh, Kate comes from Jersey. Oh, she's Jersey. And there's another lady who comes from Guernsey. Je uh, Jane from Guernsey? Kathy's saying, just what I don't need, more Linton fabrics. Oh, you <laughs> have to go and have a look, Kathy, especially on a, on a Wednesday. <laughs> they, they do it for 24 hours, so it, it caters for all time zones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure you, I'm sure you need some more Linton. So Suzanne, I'll be watching... oh yes, there'd be a lot of takers, Suzanne, saying to a Guernsey retreat. A Guernsey retreat? Oh, we can even do a Guernsey retreat. That'd be nice. Um, so I've been watching what all you've been doing on the Midhurst Service this week. Mary finished two of her lovely Mary Quant dresses. I was using the pattern, the free pattern from the V&A. We did a workshop last summer uh, and, they, and uh, made dresses using the, the pattern from the V&A that, that they bought out to go and coincide with the exhibition, the Mary Quant exhibition. So you'll see two lovely dresses that Mary made on Midhurst Service. And Suzanne obviously making lots more things for her grandchildren, which is great, but she's been so busy with sew alongs this week. Um, as well, Cynthia's done lots of lovely things this week. Beautiful Ogden cami in a Liberty fabric, and she made the Sicilian top with the uh, chevrons on it, which mine is still tacked together, so I'll, I will find it this weekend. We'll see. Uh, I've got some other things I need to do this weekend. <laughs> but the, um, yeah, the Sicilian top, the um, so different pattern. Uh, based on the Gambit, based on the um, Queen's Gambit television program, and it looked absolutely fantastic. Well done, Cynthia, doing your pattern. It looked so good. It looked really, really good, really good. So what, yeah, we were discussing Linton on this uh, Services Week. I know Janet went straight on to Linton after the after the live. It was weird. Oh dear, can you say, oh dear, I bought some maybe Linton, Janet? Yeah. <laughs> Phil was uh, Phil still looking for her Linton. Showed yeah. us some nice samples this morning. Of hers. We did, yeah, we were discussing you know how much wool you should have in your in the Linton for your jacket. So we were just talk, talking about you know obviously the more wool content you have, the more shaping you'll be able to do. So that's what we were talking about today. So it was it was uh, it's been lovely chatty week this week. So and we saw uh, the lovely Sue Cotton, lovely pictures of Sue Cotton on Midhurst Service this week. Her daughter has uh, started, an, uh, I think we talked about it before, a lockdown business. She runs a beauty salon, so in, in lockdown she's, she's uh, started Pamper in the Post. So you can order Pamper boxes um, from Sue's daughter, called uh, Pamper, Pamper Co. Pamper in the Post it's called, I think. Um, Oh, there's Mum. Hi, Mum. Hi, Nan. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. In fact, on Sunday, just talking about pampering the post, we're going to be doing. We've got our. We've already had ours delivered, so we're going to be doing that with my mum. We've got to do an afternoon tea yeah, being so delivered on Mother's Day. We're doing. We're doing a, a Zoom pamper party. Zoom Mother's Day. Yeah, which is going to be lovely. Looking forward to that, Mum. See you on Sunday. <laughs> does she you know? Hmm? Does she know I about it? Oh, she does now. Well, we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> I'll um, see you on Sunday anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Suzanne says day. that hers has been dispatched. Is that your Linton, Suzanne, has been dispatched oh. today? Catherine wants to know what the burn test to test is for, to test for wool. Oh, there is a burn test, Catherine. I've got, I'll, I'll put there's a link a, up. I've got a whole tape. series of things, yeah, isn't there's there? Whole, there's, there's a different tests for what colour the flames are for the different wool, whether it's wool or cotton and stuff. So I'll put it, I'll actually, that's quite a good little thing I've got. I'll put it up on, on um, this page later. Janet oh. said yes, she should have waited. She didn't buy enough for the sew along, so she'll oh, have to buy no. more. Oh dear. Oh yes, the Linton. What yes. a shame. Yes, the oh, Linton. Dear. Oh well, Janet. Never we thought mind. the same thing. We were like, surely we've got enough Linton to do this, but no. No, we haven't. I've got a skirt length, but I don't want to use it for this because I want a matching. <laughs> so oh, that's thought, right, because you're doing the skirt and I'm doing a matching and skirt jacket. and jacket. Mm. Yeah. Should. Mm. Talking about, we've mentioned Queen's Gambit. We haven't discussed TV for a few weeks. We haven't. What's you everyone mentioned, watching? What was the one you were watching that you said about this morning oh. with the pyjamas? Oh, Ginny and Georgia. Ginny and Georgia, you said. It's a bit of a those. silly sort of American mm. teeny series, mm. uh, but the clothes are amazing. The, mm. the, the mother, she's a, it's about a 30-year-old mother with a 16-year-old daughter. And the, oh. the mother, her clothes are just fantastic. Uh, really great, really cool jackets mm. and quite a lot of tweed jackets she wears and yeah. lovely, she had some lovely pale pink, they look like silk velvet high-waisted pan uh, 
palazzo trousers and stuff. Yeah, just really cool. Mm. So it's just worth watching for the fabric. I kind of ignore the storyline a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's really good. And I've just watched Behind Her Eyes. Oh, yes, I've got to watch that Mum this weekend. Mum hasn't watched it yet, yes. so no spoiler alerts. I've got to watch that this but, weekend because Amy wants to talk to you about it. For anybody that has watched Behind Her Eyes, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't say anything. No, we'll talk about um, that next week. Catherine said that she's got some linting from Nude and she's made the content. Okay, yeah, so I'll put that in. It's a little table. I'll put that up on the page later so you can see. But yes, any other series that people have been watching? Mm. Um, I started watching The Honour, The Honour, Your Honour, oh, with, Brian yes, with Brian Cranston. I started watching that last week, mm. so I'm going to watch more of that this week. The next one's on Sunday, starting for Grace, isn't there? That's what looks. So, yeah. But I, need, I need some new ones. I need some suggestions, ladies. Yes. What's everyone watching? That's moment. because you were watching. What were you watching um, that you've been watching for ages? The Vikings. I was watching Vikings. Vikings, that's right. So that stopped, didn't it? It ran out. So it ran out. Season. It took over my life for a couple of months and I binged it and then it, it's run out. <laughs> I've been a little bit like a lost. The oh, Dig, the Celia yeah, says. I've seen that. You I've have, seen it. I haven't. I loved The Dig. Wasn't it great, Celia? I really loved it. Uh, Cynthia's just saying on Instagram just to say I've tacked my Yannicka jacket together and the sleeves fit it seems to fit everywhere which is very exciting and oh. most welcome and unusual for my mates <laughs> brilliant well done Cynthia uh, Jilly's saying 90 feet of production of Elizabeth are amazing costume of course looking forward for the new series of all creatures well the Yorkshire ladies <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be so nice to see the Yorkshire countryside on that actually Jilly it is lovely Call My Agent, French Subtitle. I've heard about that. Yeah. Okay. Emily in Paris, both on Netflix. Oh, yeah. I caught Emily in Paris. You haven't watched it yet, though, have you? No, but I again, haven't. the clothes are really good. Uh, for the clothes, any old Poirot. Or Miss Marple. Oh, yeah. Marple. I love a bit of Miss Marple. I've often watched that. ITV3 are good for those, aren't they, Janet? ITV3 for Poirot and Miss Marple. What was that other one? The Fabulous Life of Miss Marvelous Maisel. Miss Maisel. Miss Maisel, that's right. That was good. Oh, Lady Lisa just joined us. Hi, Lisa. Oh, hi, Lisa. This is another Yorkshire lady, everybody. We've been, We've been Yorkshire. It's been a Yorkshire takeover today, Lisa. It seems like everybody <laughs> on Facebook, on our Facebook lives from Yorkshire. I'm um, forgotten. I'm watching the new series of Unforgotten, Claire, as well. So that, But they have to watch. It's only one a week, isn't it? What's that all about? How many have there been, though? Because I could binge up it's until this three, point. Only three, I think. Yeah, it's only been three. I love Unforgotten. But yeah, it's very. It's, when you get so used to binge watching a series, it's really difficult to have to wait a week for a new one. So, Cathy <laughs> uh, is saying your suggestions for non-traditional uses for Linton fabrics. Well, Ooh. we've had some really interesting well, ones in the sewing room. Do you know, this we? morning we were talking about uh, a hat. It was uh, Emma who was talking about making a hat, wasn't she? Like in, a little bucket Linton, hat, like a bucket hat, which I thought would be good. What do you think about that? Kathy and also um, bags. My Sue Cotton, who comes here, always makes. We've had anorak made. Yeah, the Kelly anorak was made from Linton. Um, All sorts of dresses. I've made a swing jacket from Linton. I'm thinking of making this actually. This not the dress, but probably this as a top in Linton. This is the French dark dress with a nice quilted lining. Kathy, what do you think about that? I quite like, quite like that. Oh, Helen's just and uh, Celia's saying bag. Celia's here, Kathy. Celia's on um, Facebook. Kathy's. But Kathy from who we met in Palm Springs, Celia is in uh, is on Instagram <laughs> saying hello. <laughs> uh, Lady Lisa is saying it's sunny in Yorkshire today. Uh, oh, Helen's saying hi to Lady Lisa. Janet is making dolls clothes for her grandchildren. That's lovely, Janet. Oh, Watching dolls from is London. Great. No, I think when this weather's been so bad, all you want to do is stay inside and sew, isn't it? Absolutely. We're going to find it hard to be going out. I know. We're so used to just staying in and sewing. Oh, and Lady Lisa saying hi back to Helen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Kathy on Instagram is saying hello to Celia, who's on Facebook. Oh, it's all go. going on today. <laughs> International. <laughs> International across two social platforms. So. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Yeah, I definitely think Celia, we were talking to Kathy and I, we were just having a chat on Instagram about having a reunion, a Couture reunion out in Palm Springs. What do you reckon? I think that'd be great. <laughs> Any excuse. Any excuse at all. Um, so what else was I talking about? I was just talking about Sam, uh, Sue's, wasn't I, um, Pampering the Post. So if you, you know, pam wants to do a pampering at home, you can get those. Janet says it's sunny in Kings Langsley. Oh, Kings Langley. Kings Langley, sorry. It's, yeah. uh, no, it's not bad here now. It's grey. Is it grey? Oh, it is, actually, yeah, it's very grey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's raining, actually. Oh. This window's got the rain. We're, oh, the room that we're in today, this is uh, the habit, haberdashery room that we do all our filming in. It's like a hexagon shape. So we've got three windows pointing in different directions. Ruth, Ruth is saying, 
that she's really enjoying the old-fashioned cocktail, a Friday and Saturday <laughs> night treat. Well, Ruth, you might enjoy today's one as well. Oh, though. yes, she will, won't she? Yes. Yeah. Just wait and see. Yeah. Just you wait. It's a good one, that, as well, because other than the sugar, mm. it's very low-cal. Just... <laughs> It's just whiskey, isn't it? So it's basically, yeah. yeah. And a bit of sugar. Uh, Suzanne's saying it's sunny in Guernsey now too. Oh, lovely. Uh, Jilly's got rain. Your way. Oh, oh lovely. rain's coming her way. Oh, oh hi, Wendy. Wendy. Wendy's in shirt and it's growing windy there. Oh, oh hi, Wendy. It's all. So nice what's the weather sunny. like in Louisiana? Yeah, what's Kathy? it like in Kathy? <laughs> <laughs> We've got classic British weather over yeah, here. You know, you're watching a British a British live. We talk about the weather. <laughs> That's all we talked about. <laughs> it was lovely to see Wendy last night. It was Wendy and, and Nate joined us. He was a bit noisy last night, wasn't he? Little baby Nate joined us last night. It was lovely to see him too. We've seen grandchildren get, and cats this yeah, week. We've had Barbara's sort of, cat joined us and yep, Suzanne's, Suzanne's grandchildren, grandchildren joined us on the solo. Hello. It's so lovely. The solo logs are great. They're really good fun. Really nice way to see everybody. And we're just so along together. Um, I have added three new ones we talked about briefly last week. Uh, apart from the couture, the couture jacket, there's also um, the Miri jumpsuit, which is the paper cut pattern, the new paper cut pattern that came out last week. So that's a jumpsuit. We've added that one. Um, <clears throat> the summer pattern that Cynthia suggested, which is the, like a summer dressing gown. Uh, I'm going to make that. I'm going to make it in a waffle, but I'm making it, making it in silk. I think I'm making it in the pink version of the one behind oh, you. Oh yeah, the silk viscose. This this yeah. One. Uh, and the utility coat. <clears throat> Jan will be pleased. Amy finally got through to me, and we are making a utility coat, <laughs> which is the merchant, which is the maid's atelier, uh, sort of summer summer raincoat. So that's uh, going to be Julie on Instagram one. saying it's pouring with rain here now. She's in Westergate. Oh. And um, Kathy is saying back to normal, sunny and humid today. Oh. Highs of up to eighty one Fahrenheit. Oh. That's well, lovely, doesn't it? Just yes, it we'll just. have to come to Louisiana. <laughs> oh, see, has been trying to cast on for TV. But now you are at three different stages on the TV, my phone and my tablet. Oh, oh yeah, I think there's different <laughs> delays on different ones. There are. There? Yeah, so you'll be hearing me in what's not stereo, but triple. <laughs> oh, the Miri is sold out yeah. in so many places. Yeah. I, I don't know if you can get it as a download, Susan. Is that how they fold line do it as a download and get it printed somewhere else? Oh, uh, Wendy says that Nate's very happy, he has his nappy off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and and uh, yes, there was a bit of unpicking to do, wasn't there, after last night's so long, Wendy? But done all her unpicking and rectified it. Uh, Marilyn, uh, hi, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Oh, your internet's back! Hooray! I got your email. Don't worry, I'll send you the recording from this morning's class. So uh, you can Jan catch up says next she week. can't wait once she's done all the alterations. Uh, <laughs> are you going to make it in calico, Jan? <laughs> so that's the utility coat that Jan we're going to do. <clears throat> So I've got a nice traditional waterproof fabric for that. Uh, fold line uh, print. print. Didn't I didn't option. see. Oh, they might that not have it. As a, they might not have it as a, a PDF. PDF. Yeah. Oh, is it not PDF? Yeah. It's only been out about a week. But don't worry, the sew along's not till May, so we've got a bit of time. Hopefully they'll restock. <laughs> Jan, how then. did you guess? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it in the biggest size, Jan. I can't persuade you. <laughs> So anyway, we'll keep on chatting. My, my voice is going. Obviously, done too much talking today. And yeah. I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to do a little demo today. Um, we've got loads to talk about when Amy comes in as well today. So I'm going to do a little demo. Then Amy's going to come in. Um, oh dear, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> we a little um, couture technique. The voice is really good. Excuse me while I have a little cough. I have a little cough while I move <laughs> while I move the camera. Sorry. A little couture technique for um, correcting a net. Ne oh, I'm the wrong camera. It's over here now. Um, correcting a neckline that might gape. So this could be a round neckline, or it could be used on a round neckline, a square neckline. Ooh, watch the lights. It's because they're in a different place now. Ow. <laughs> Just knocked myself out with the line. <laughs> Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that wasn't funny. <laughs> Such a mean mum. <laughs> Should I move the iron? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so this... <laughs> we're not really hysterical today. <laughs> I think it's, it's, our Fridays are going to get worse, aren't they? Now, we've added Tuesday evening, day and evening into our sew along calendar soon. So our Friday, by the time Friday comes around, we're going to be completely... I'm going to have to rest my voice this weekend. 
<clears throat> so this technique that I'm going to show you today, this is for a neckline that might gape, or um, it could be a front neckline, a back neckline, a round or a square, and also sometimes an evening dress has an off the shoulder, which is a little bit loose, so this technique would work there as well. So I'm going to show you this. Um, <clears throat> This is just a, I've just done this as a straight line, but obviously this could be a curved, this could be a curved neckline, it could be a square neckline, it could be a sleeve, you know, a sleeve on an evening dress that just sort of off the shoulder, which might be falling down, so you want to sort of sort of tighten it up a little bit to stop it slipping. Um, and for this technique, you need... Ruth's saying health and safety, ladies, and yeah. Celia's asking if we've had the cocktails already. <laughs> no, we haven't. It's just um, a lot of... A lot of stuff going on. A lot on. of stuff going on. We didn't on. have time for lunch today, actually. We haven't eaten yet. So yeah, I think yeah. we just said, quick, let's have a biscuit, and then <laughs> it's time for the life. So, yeah. I think, actually, you'll find it was a Cadbury's, cre Cadbury's Easter egg cake. It was a Cadbury, yeah. Which is probably Shh. not the healthiest the thing. The last one we're having. It is. Right. So, this this is... Uh, let me do my serious couture demo. Sorry. <laughs> this is a facing on a straight piece of fabric but like I said it could be a curved neckline it could be a square neckline it could be a sleeve a sleeveless dress that keeps slipping down and just needs tightening up so it's gaping forward so for this you would need a piece of elastic this is a six millimeter wide elastic and it's an elastic that goes narrow when it's stretched like this one so it goes a bit narrow when it's stretched so it, this is hand stitching we're doing today so lovely hand stitching continuing on from what we did this morning um, so I'm going to use a nice bright pink thread that I've got in my needle keeper for those of you who haven't seen it this is a, a little gadget for keeping your threaded needles so you can thread up your needles put it into the little hole in it there then you put the thread through the guide and just do it up Oops. okay so it's all um, Tied in, you can hold up to 10 threaded needles there, and then when you want your needle, you just pull it out. <laughs> Kathy says, Girls, it's 9 30 a.m. here in Louisiana, <laughs> and I'm having my English tea, and y'all are discussing having cocktails. <laughs> well, that's, that's how we roll, Kathy. <laughs> y'all and everything. I did, um, I did leave by when I did the class with Kathy, I left my Yorkshire tea when I left because I left Aww. before everybody else. Um, so, whenever you're doing any hand sewing, I always wax and press your thread. So run your, th I always thread the needle first and then run my thread through some beeswax. And then take some kitchen paper, put the thread in between the two layers and then just press it. So what this does, the, the pressing takes off the excess wax, but waxing your thread will just make it a bit stronger and smoother and it will stop it knotting. So when you're doing hand stitching, the last thing you want is your threads to knot. So you, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, a bit of wax comes, the excess wax comes off. You can run it a couple of times through the wax. So I'm going to pin this elastic onto the top of the facing here, just to hold it in place. <laughs> Celia says, of course, Cathy. <laughs> see, Celia understands. <laughs> These things, I'm just going to pin the elastic in place just at the top of the facing here I don't think I've dem demoed this to you have I ate before no Probably I'm intrigued not. see how's that gonna work I'm just gonna put one in the middle as well because I've actually chosen quite a long bit here anyway I might go all the way to You're the end so all of that are <laughs> yeah, you hand so all of it <laughs> so I'm gonna just I'm going to uh, just do um, a herringbone stitch, I think in America they call it a cap stitch. This is a, a herringbone stitch. I'm going to do a double stitch at the beginning. You could knot it. I always do. I was saying this morning, it's kind of a very long piece of thread here. Let me just pull that through. <laughs> <laughs> very long piece of thread and a very long bit of elastic. Mm. So double stitch at the beginning or you could knot it. And then we're going to do a herringbone stitch over the elastic. So you're for, going to form a thread casing, basically. So herringbone is where you do a little back stitch above the elastic and then come across. So you're working from left to right. But are you catching the elastic? No. Oh. You're not catching the elastic. You're forming a casing for the elastic. So you're going just above the elastic and then just below it. I have dresses in my wardrobe that this would work for where the sleeve mm, always falls yeah. down. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, there's a quick there's a quick fix for a gaping neckline. You can run 
a machine, a long machine stitch round and pull that up. That would work, but this is just a little bit more of a... Is that when you do the steam thing? And you, you steam, steam it. it, yeah, you can steam it. Because sometimes the, fab sometimes the fabric is that's stretched. But often you could, do, you could do this on an even dress, or maybe even a vintage gown. You might want to do this on just to make it fit. So I'm just doing... So if you're right-handed, you go from left to right. I was on oh, I knew that would happen if I put a pin in the middle. If you're left-handed, you go the other way. And you're basically doing a little back stitch above the elastic and a little one below, forming a casing. All the way along. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it always goes so quiet when I do a little demo, doesn't it? So you would use matching thread. <laughs> Obviously, I'm doing a pink thread. Yeah. And the elastic comes in black or white, so just choose the colour elastic that um, would suit your garment. All the way along. I just wanted to do hand sewing because we were getting so into our hand sewing this morning, doing our techniques. But we, um, I just wanted to carry on. It goes nice and quiet. I'll just sit here and. Yeah, Suzanne says we're watching and concentrating on your yeah, hand. Exactly. So we did do the herringbone stitch this morning, didn't we, um, Suzanne? On the, we were doing, we were putting Wigan into our sample this morning. Here we go. For those of you that don't know, Wigan is a sewing interfacing that we use in the hems on the couture jackets. Find them inside Chanel jackets. All the way along. I've nearly done the aim. Sorry, holding the camera at the angle. You all right there? <laughs> yeah, my hand's just going into a bit of a cramp. It's fine. <laughs> no worries. I didn't know why I chose such a big... I wanted to give a good demonstration of a herringbone stitch. Yeah. It is that. It's a very good demonstration. Okay, I'll just do a couple. Is that more. within seam allowance and how many of the layers of fabric are you going I'm through? Not going through? I'm not going through all the layers. So I'm just going through the facing. And I'm just going, on um, this one, I, you could go a bit closer to the top. I'm just doing it just next to the understitching yeah, on this Julie's one. Julie's asked again, does yeah. it catch both layers? So it's just no, on just the through, facing. It's just through the facing. Okay, I'll stop there. I've had to come up because my hand is going to drop. Oh, it nearly did drop the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to finish off with a double stitch at the end. So I would normally you go all the way, whatever you're doing, whatever garment you're doing, so you go all the way around the neckline. And then... What you do is take out the pin from this end and you pull up the elastic. And I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it excessively because you can see I could pull it right up and gather it, but really you only want to pull it up enough to tighten up the neckline. So you could pull it in, just half an inch would do, and it would pull it in flat against your body. And then when you wear it, it'll just go flat. So there mm -hmm. you go. So you pull it up until you're happy. So you could do, do this on fitting. So you could put this in, tack it, stitch it at one end, secure it at one end, then put the garment on, and then pull the elastic up until you're happy that it's, it's um, laying flat. So there you go. That's how you can stop um, sleeve slipping and also stop necklines from gaping. Well, there you go. I pulled that up quite a bit already. And you can, if it's wool, if it's a wool fabric, you could steam it as well. That would shrink. That once you've done that and you've got it how you want it to, you could steam it and it would stay in place. There you go. That's pulled it in quite a bit there. There you go. A little couture technique. I think that's actually from Claire Shaper's book, that one. I learned that one. And I was looking at a dress that I needed to do that on. But I've done the... Um, <laughs> a bit of practice required there, Jilly. <laughs> it's like all these things, isn't it? Just a bit of practice and you get there. Oops. Come in. Come here. So Amy's just resetting the... I'm putting my needle away again. Amy's just resetting the camera and they're just going to come in so we can have a chat. There's been loads going on this there week, hasn't there? I'm going to move this iron out of the way though, so you don't burn yourself. Okay. Anyway, I aim to do the trick. Good. You want me to move over? Yes, this please. Is where, this is why I always think I'm disappearing, but I know I'm not. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 
Hold on. That'll be fine, actually, where you are. Yeah, now. I'm going to move this cloth out of the way because that's easier for you. This is not here, isn't it? Uh, Celia's saying, yeah, Claire has also done it on a wider elastic. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, that's right, we did this on um, Sally, saying that we did this on her bombshell dress. We did, because it was a little bit... Janet's saying it would work on gaping armholes too. It would, yes, absolutely. It's a good little technique, that one. <coughs> so I'm going to come round. Uh, Instagram people, I'm very sorry, I won't go see your comments now, because it's the wrong side of the camera. Ooh. Yeah, actually, that would be great with wider elastic, Celia, wouldn't it, when you could, you could do it as, yeah, with a wider one? Okay. To bring, especially on arm on um, sleeves. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Slide in. Slide again. <laughs> Slide in here. Ooh, Ooh, our chairs, our chairs are bashing. There we go. I'm here. So, how are we all doing? Nice to see you this week. I had a busy week that you didn't, didn't wash your hand. Oh, that's my <laughs> reminder. Have you got everything that's on your hand? Yes. Good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So this week. Well, there's been all sorts going on. This week, so right? all sorts has gone on this week. Yes. We've got some exciting news and some sad news. Yes. So we'll start with the sad. Um, unfortunately, we had an email um, from Cunard, didn't we? yesterday we had an email mm. from Cunard, and they are cancelling all sailings this year. So we've had to postpone our cruise again this year. And there are some ladies booked on this year who already know. Oh, thank you, Jilly. Where was that fabric from? This is from Ditto. Oh, that's right. It's actually wool. It's a wool jersey. Yeah. Uh, and the pattern is um, the stop and still jump dress. Hmm. Um, it actually shrunk a little bit, so I need to make it into a top. <laughs> it's it was short. a dress. It's quite short. But uh, <laughs> I washed it and it shrunk. So anyway, yes, this year's cruise has been postponed, but the ladies that were booked on are now going to transfer over to next year's next cruise. Year. Um, so we already have some people booked on to next year. Yeah, so Helen and Lisa are already there next year. So it's year. now nearly fully booked. <laughs> <laughs> we have about like, two spaces left now on that cruise. Yeah. Um, well, we were gutted, weren't we? Because we, we were really hoping we'd be able to go. So. We were like this the whole time. Right? Yeah. Surely, yeah, but, then, but no, they're quite right, really. Uh, mm. The ports are not open around the world, and what their main thing that they said was that yes, the UK's vaccine program is going spectacularly well, but mm. the rest of the world is not. Uh, yeah. Some places are not quite where we are. So, um, even though ours was just a transatlantic, um, they just had to make the decision to cancel all their sailing. I think it'd be too complicated for them. They have ships all around the world. They do. They? So I they think the Queen them. Elizabeth is still going to be sailing a bit in the summer um, because of where it's yeah, going to. It's... But the yeah, the mm. Queen Mary that we were going on is not going to be sailing until I think late October, November now. Yeah, so. but it's fine. It's fine. We've got we've we had our little sad moment, and now we we're do. all happy again now because yeah. we can plan more things. Yeah. So, so we now have a two week gap in August. Yes. <laughs> I, I ideas on a postcard. Yeah, we're also <laughs> supposed to be going to America in May, May to do our sort of recce that we normally do, just mm. to check that our favourite shops are still open and mm. our favourite restaurants are still there. Um, but obviously, so that's another two weeks or mm. one week that we've got to fill. So there we go. Yeah. But anyway, so anyway, we're but fine. We'll we'll all go next year so next year is going to be bigger and better. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a fantastic time next year. So I hope you all this all this tricky time will be well behind us by next summer. Yeah. So July next year is when we're going to do our Ruth Tudic Bible do class. Another Tudic Bible class. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can that. We have well, a long yes, time. Yeah. We're well, going to have amazing wardrobe for next year. Season, especially yeah. We? I was saying to Sally this morning. I think it's nearly going to be by the time we actually go on this particular trip, the people that were originally booked on will have been planning it for three years. Okay. <laughs> <So>. Three years. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be before we actually go. So third time oh. lucky. One yes. of the ladies, Pauline, said third time lucky. Yeah, she did. And we've got, and we're still, I still haven't made my sequin dress, so I've got a bit longer. I've got some lovely sequin. Yeah, we actually hadn't made a lot of our wardrobe, so it kind yeah. of, yeah. We, good, well, we've made quite dress. a lot, quite a lot of our sew along. We're, we're sort of thinking, we must plan our sew along timetable mm -hmm. around what we want to wear on the cruise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we have. So, so anyway, we'll carry on with that. We'll carry on making it. It'll be ready Just for Just mustn't year. change shape, Suzanne says. That's no, true. No. We'll get smaller so we can take things in. That's <laughs> but only make things that we could take in. Oh, cocktail yeah. classes. Cocktail classes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, more cocktail classes. We could do some cocktail sew alongs. Yeah. Maybe that we would will. be a dangerous sew along, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. We might have to film that one from home. <laughs> wouldn't be able to drive. <laughs> Is New York available without the cruise home? Yes, it is, Claire. Yes. Yeah, I've got prices for just mm -hmm. New York. Yeah, and you can fly um, home. And you can fly home. Yes. Yeah. So you can just come on the tour with us. 
There are actually prices on, I think there is like a, just a secure price if you go to the website, mm. that price is there. There is, yeah. And then, but, but of course, just one thing I would say is to book premium, premium economy on the way back at least, because you'll need that extra suitcase, Paul. <laughs> that's why we're getting the cruise that's the whole idea with the cruise came back came about because, no luggage restrictions we always, because we always had to get an extra suitcase to come back and we thought well if we came back on the cruise ship we could put some loads of way fabric. too much fabric yeah well you no. cancelled it no no the extra night no. is still happening yes, yeah so, yeah. so night. we are still going for the five nights in New York mm -hmm. uh, and yes. then we go on the cruise and because actually cruise. we decided that probably and we're now planning all of our cruises with that night mm. in so um, we decided it was much better because it gives you an extra night, yeah. an extra day to acclimatise. And, and you can spread things out a little bit. We're also going to be there for the 4th of July Yeah, so that's next also, year. So some shops are open on the 4th of July, but not all of them. So that'll be a bit of a slower day where we can, and maybe there'll be some 4th of July celebrations. Claire went to Mood five years ago and didn't buy a thing. Claire. Do you know what? I do understand that. Actually, I have to say, the first time I went, it is quite overwhelming when you first go, isn't it, Claire? So... So yes, we'll definitely we'll Suzanne, be going no, to. No, Sally and I had an extra night. Oh, sorry, Suzanne, I forgot. I misunderstood oh, what you meant. The yes. At the moment, um, no, I haven't uh, done anything with that. So if you need the extra night, still the money's there. Yeah. If not, then we'll refund you. Yeah, yeah exactly. For the extra night. Mm -hmm. um, so Janet, extra day shopping. Yes, but yes. no. Originally, yeah, what we meant was originally we had only done it for four nights. Mm. which meant three days in New York. Yes, and it just exactly. Didn't bit, seem enough. It was a bit tight because we also want to give you the opportunity to have a day to see New York, especially people oh. that have never been there. So, yeah, it's now five nights. Yeah, so when we go, when we just going back to Mood, when we go to Mood Care, we'll probably do, there'll probably be two trips to Mood. Yeah. Because if you haven't been before, you need to have that, oh my God moment, and then you mm -hmm. think, oh, now you go back and buy stuff, which is what, every time we go, we always go twice. But there are so At many other twice. amazing fabric shops that we were... Too overwhelming. I was yeah. on Peter Lappin's. Oh, Mel Patton Bolden this day. Yes, he's great, isn't he? I met him last time I was there, actually. He's great, Peter. He's really lovely. It is overwhelming. It the is, first time yeah. you go, it is super overwhelming. And then even every time we go, mm. actually, we do walk in and we very rarely buy anything on the first, first day. day. And we go mm. back the next day or two days later yeah. and spend too much money. There's so many other shops to show you as well that we love as well. Yeah. And trimming shops and things like that. So, so, so we're sort of excited about that now. Yeah. It's really sad, but we're excited. Yes. We were getting a little bit concerned about, you know, how things would be in New York this year because yeah. you know, like like the like Cunard said, you know, we're we're here. We the plan is there's a, you know we were going to have to we were going to phone up the hotel in New York and say what's the New York road? I was literally I was about to there? email them last night. I was about to email my contact in New York just to say how's it going? Do you think this is going to go ahead? And then Cunard jumped beat us to it. Yeah. So, so anyway, so everyone who was booked on should have had an email from Amy uh, and then you know everyone's individual, so everyone can make their own plans what they yeah. like to do. Um, and uh, and then there'll be spaces for new people to book on for next year as well. Yeah. So exciting. So that's one bit of news. Yes. And then we've the, got three. Yes. So, so news we, number two. Number two. I can't remember. So we, the retreats are the retreats are going ahead in this country. I can't, we didn't make a list. Didn't write it down. Oh, I've got a spreadsheet. I can just tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with the, the retreats are going ahead this year. But in August for our Brighton Sewing Retreat. Mm -hmm. Huge spaces on that. I think there's only one space on the Makers Atelier Sewing Retreat in September. Uh, Lisa's Lady Lisa's saying if there's a formal night towards the end of the cruise, which there is, mm -hmm. I might make something on the boat. Yeah, I think that's I think quite a few great. people are going to because yeah. that sort of dress is quite daunting to attempt on your yeah. own. Yeah. So you have the expert there. Yeah, so I think we should all do that. Yeah. yeah, it'd be great to do that, and then you can. And we can all wear it fabric. on the final party. Yeah. Really good plan. Yes, yeah, so we haven't got. We won't. Obviously, we were just thinking we'd get the list from the cruise from Cunard about what's on each night, but obviously we have to wait now. Yeah. Anyway. But we will let you know as soon as we have that. Yeah. So great idea there, Lisa. Great. Yeah. Well, our exciting news is about mm. the Top Nest the Retreat. Top Nest Retreat. Yes. So the Top Nest Retreat it is in November, mm -hmm. um, 17th, 18th, 19th, um, and it's at Dartington Hall in November. It sold out last week. And we contacted the hotel, or they contacted us and just said, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, your event, you, we usually have the upper gatehouse, which is what we had last time. Lovely. It was a lovely room really and lovely. it was just the perfect size for that amount of people, if not a little snug. But now the great hall has become available, which if anybody has been to Dartington before and you can see it on the website, is the most beautiful mm. great hall. <laughs> it is it's what lovely. it says it is in the main part it's of the historic buildings. Yeah. Mm. And it's got this 
you know, 10 meter high booted ceiling. Really beautiful. So we now have the Great Hall, mm. which means that we've been able to open up bookings again. Yeah, just for a couple more people to come along. If you'd like to join us uh, in Devon in November, um, we're gonna, the idea is also that we can spread out. Yeah. We can have lots more space, we can have yeah. a breakout area. We were talking about sofas and all yeah. sorts of yeah, we were getting we got very excited. excited now. Yeah. So as well as the actual area. And it's on so the ground floor. Last ground time floor. we had to walk up these steps or up some mm -hmm. ramps. So we're now on the ground floor, it's right next to the restaurant. Yes. Uh, so I think we have uh, four spaces left. Sally booked one this morning, so Yes, thanks Sally, that'd yeah, be so it'd be lovely. So nice that you're gonna join us. Yeah, yeah, Ruth's Ruth's yeah it's gonna be lovely. It really is beautiful and it's um Tina was disappointed not to book in. I'll let her know, Wendy, yeah. Oh yes, it'd be lovely if Tina could come. Yeah, there are spaces. I think it's four spaces left yeah. now that we've been able to expand it because it just it's only by a couple more that we've yeah. added in, but it just means that we could that because we know that people. a lot of people wanted to come on that retreat yeah. because it's the first one that we're all going to feel yeah. really safe. Yeah, and it's going to be lovely. So we'll have a lot more space around each table, so you may feel happier with that as well. Uh, there was just a message from Lisa saying that she's made lots of evening wear, uh, but thinking that the um, the fabric choices in New York are going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, so. Joe's saying Tom Nessa Hotel, because Joe's joining us on that retreat ah, as well. well. And of course, we always go and visit Stone Fabrics. We yes, we do. For a bit of fabric shopping. Mm -hmm. Actually, there were two visits last time we went. We went oh, on the evening, were. and then a group of us went the next day too. Yeah. Yeah. It was almost like a whole Linton thing again, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Talking of which... Well, some of you may remember back way in... T can we book accommodation yet? Yeah. Yes, Ruth, actually, it's on my list of emails to send today, but I'll tell you now, because um, a few people have booked recently. The If you call... You have to call up or email. I'll send the email this afternoon, but it's reservations at Dartington Hall, I think. Um, the rooms are £60 for a double size room, I it's think. It's such good value. It's much per mm. night. Oh, £80, sorry. £80, is that what I said? For a double room. Mm. Uh, mm. I think it's 65 for a single, but you are better to go for the double because the singles are time. very small. That yeah, includes breakfast. Uh, that's <laughs> per night. You just have to say that you're on Claire Tyler Stone Retreat yeah. when you book and you'll get the preferential rate. Mm. Um, so anybody that remembers... Back in 2019, when we Before were allowed to, when we were allowed to do these events, we ran a couture retreat in Carlisle. We did. And guess there we go. Thank you, Suzanne. Guest reservations at Dartington Hall. Um, Suzanne's on it today. She is. Yeah. We have decided to run that retreat again. We have. We've had we had some lovely um, couture classes here, and we often hop back to when we did the couture retreat up at. Uh, in Carlisle and so we thought we'd do it again um, so the basic the plan is that we we take on this I go to this lovely hotel called Dawson Hall it's a castle which is a, it's basically a castle it's a, it's a hall with turrets so it's yeah. a castle and there uh, are bedrooms in the turrets and they're better yes if you're brave enough to go up the turrets I think yeah. when Wendy's here she'll remember we just we didn't no one stayed up there but you can it's like oh, <laughs> stone staircases um, and we took we normally take the whole place so it's a limited number, it's only small. Uh, we take over the whole place and we have our, uh, we have a sewing room in one of the great big lovely rooms. Uh, we have access to the grounds and we have our dinners cooked by a fantastic chef. Mm -hmm. Beautiful meals there, don't they do every day? Yeah. Breakfast, lunch and dinner we have there. So it's a fully one, full, fully catered retreat. Wendy says, Carla um, was the best. It was great fun, wasn't it? It was great. Uh, we also do, well we do think we just do one visit. It turned out to be two visits to Linton. Yeah. We had a talk by the lovely Mrs. Walker, who's the chairman of the company, and we did have a tour of the mill. That's not always, that just depends how busy they are when they do that, but we'll definitely be going to Linton. Um, Oh yeah, uh, Lady Lisa's so, saying, oh hello and fancy Carlisle. Yeah, so it's yeah. going to be We will be May. visiting Linton Tweed, that's yes, our face. We will be the going. idea is that last time it was all about couture techniques, this mm -hmm. time the plan is to make to make a couture jacket but make half your half the jacket. Oh, it's looking at Wendy's coming. Mauve, mauve gin. gin. Oh, yeah, we had, some, gin. we had some mauve gin. They had a really nice bar. Yeah. The beauty of it <laughs> is that this one is slightly different to our normal retreats where we have you book it and then you book your own accommodation. This one, there is a non-residential package, mm -hmm. um, so you can just come to the retreat and stay somewhere else, or you can have all-inclusive, which is accommodation and all your food, and all your food yeah. breakfast, lunch, and dinner every mm. day. So Suzanne says count me in. Depends Lovely. on the so the dates are going to be the 9th of May, 9th to the 13th. So mm. it's a Monday. Uh, arrive on the Monday, check out on the Friday. Yeah, uh, so it's on the Friday. And that includes all of your food while you're there, plus the trips to Linton and 
making your couture jacket, mm-hmm. but you'll make half the jacket because yes. you can't make a whole one in a week. Yeah, so the idea is with the, with the couture jacket, like the one you see behind me, so if you're making one of the lovely Claire Shaper patterns, there's a seam at the centre back. So the idea is I'm gonna, we're going to make half the jacket, so you learn all the techniques to do that, and then you could, you'll know the thing you need to do to finish the other half and sew it up the back. That's May the 2021, oh, 2022, Helen. 22. Sorry, yeah, 22. 22. Yeah. Mm. So on the website, I've just popped on the home page, um, of the retreat set when you go through to the retreat page on the front page scroll down you'll see there's just a contact form because I'm still doing some communications with the hotel at the moment so the prices and stuff aren't on there yet but if you just fill in the contact form Mm -hmm. I'll then add you to a list and as soon as I've finalized it hopefully by the end of next week I'll send you details for first refusal anybody that is interested so, but it yeah. is limited numbers i think we can only have 10. i think it was 10 it's because they only have 10 bedrooms i yeah. think there are some twin options um so i think we could we can take more if people go twin but yeah it's yeah. i um all that information will become available hopefully next week um mm-hmm. once the hotel get back to me but as i said if you go to the website you can just register your interest on the contact form that's linked to the couture retreat and i will email you once it's ready yeah so we're very excited so that'll be lovely to do that again with this it was so lovely so that you'll know even from like we did this morning the couture sewing it's, it's very relaxing couture sewing very very so the lovely it's almost like a spa <laughs> well there isn't a spa there. and it was so lovely no there's no spa there but yeah. it was just nice because it's in the middle of the countryside mm. just on the out it's only five minutes away from linton mm-hmm. tweed but you're not you're in not carlisle in you're, you're on the edge of the uh peak lake Lake District. Lake District, yeah. Lake District. <laughs> right on the edge. So it's got lovely views um, mm. out of the windows and it's just beautiful. It's very exactly. relaxing. So. And we were having pims out in the garden, weren't we? Yeah. It was great, yeah. yeah. So we're doing it again. So there we go. So that was our, our exciting thing. So we hope you like the ideas. Let us know if you'd like to come along and join us on yeah. either retreats or cruises or whatever you'd like to do. And of course, there will be workshops here at some point. <laughs> well. So alongs. Yeah. So alongs <laughs> until then. And cocktails. And cocktails. So yes, yeah, so what are we drinking this week? Today, um, we are having, this has been on my list and I thought, well, while I've got some of the ingredients lying around, mm. I'm just going to do it. And we know that Ruth likes We like know that whiskey whiskey Ruth's going to like this. This is another whiskey cocktail. This is a mint julep. Um, so you can make it with pretty much the same ingredients <laughs> as the old fashioned. It's very similar, in fact. So, but it's a classic, isn't it? You yeah, this is a, a complete classic. This is one you see in like um, sort of old films and things they talk about. Mint yeah, and actually, they? a mint julep is often served in a like a copper glass, mm. a copper tumbler, because it's cold and it will keep the drink cold. Because it's made with crushed ice. So, <laughs> good Ruth's comment. Ooh. <laughs> so, what you need is a tumbler. Uh, Wendy said, oh. a lovely drive up there to Carlisle. And a nice walk along the river. I'm going to take the baby for a walk now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Wendy, Wendy, Sue, and Jane all drove up, up together last year. So it that's lovely, is. isn't it? Um, so first things first, you want mint. Uh, it's about eight to ten fresh mint leaves. Okay. Put them in the bottom of your glass, like so. You can shake this one, but I don't like to shake it because it breaks the mint up too much and then you get little bits of mint in your drink. Um, you need sugar syrup. So this is my sugar syrup, which I'd forgotten the other week. I <laughs> from Monin, which I got on Amazon, but you can make it and it's two parts sugar, one part hot water. Um, dissolve it. So you just want a drizzle. It's the official measurement is half an ounce or which is about 10 mils, 12 mils, but I just... A drizzle, that's a technical term. A drizzle. Does that mean you're free pouring? Yeah. Free pouring the sugar free syrup. Free pouring the sugar syrup. <laughs> a little bit more. So you just pour that over the mint, and then you would use either a muddle stick, or if you've got a bar spoon, that's what that end is for as well. And you're just gonna sort of bruise the mint with the sugar, just sort of squish it so you're releasing some of the oils from the mint leaves. It smells lovely. Isn't it? it does. And the more you squish it with that sugar, it's just gonna come alive. You don't wanna really break up the mint, otherwise, like I said, you're gonna end up with little bits of mint in your mouth, which isn't when I mean, you can eat mint leaves, can't you? Yeah, but 
it gets stuck in your teeth. Yeah, and that's never attractive. That's not a very good look. Is that's it? not a good look at a garden party. No. But a mint juice it is. So you've squished your mint. Just move that that way. Oh, a bit of sugar syrup everywhere. And then we need crushed ice. So you're gonna. Uh, I've got an ice crusher that I bought on Amazon. It was about twenty quid. But like I mentioned the other week, you can just smash it, smash your ice in a bag with a rolling pin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you want to put about half the glass with ice. This is basically a bit like a whiskey mojito. <laughs> a bit like that. It's just without the lime. So yeah, a bit of ice in. We must have done mojitos one week. We did. That was one of the first ones we did. Must have been, yeah. Way back last year, almost a year ago. So I could do them again. We've got new people watching now. Yeah. Um, and then I'm using the same whiskey that I did before. It's a bourbon, uh, Woodland Reserve bourbon. Uh, but you could use any whiskey. It's just uh, traditionally a bourbon. And then it's a double shot of 50 mils of the whiskey in there. Ooh, just a little bit. Kathy's thinking, what's this for breakfast? This is breakfast, <laughs> Kathy. Well, actually, it's coming up to tea time in British. Recognise that bottle? Yeah, Woodland, mm. Woodford, not Woodland. Woodford Reserve. I didn't bring a napkin with me this, this week. So then you've got it in there, you're gonna, oh, thank you. It's one you prepared earlier. One you prepared earlier, but I just need my waxing my thread. Yeah. So you're then gonna stir this until the, <laughs> until like the glass the shot becomes out. chilled. Obviously, if you've got one of the, um, the copper can glasses, it would be the same sort of glass that you'd use for a Moscow mule, those copper glasses. I need to get some of those. Copper glasses yeah. that you use. For the for the same. So as soon as it's frosted on the outside, that means that the drink is chilled and you stir through your mint and your sugar. Uh, and then just top it with ice again. So again as well. And then, yeah. So you fill it up with ice like that. Can't believe you spilt it before drinking it. I know. It's been, a, it's been a bit of a day. It's been a long week. <laughs> there we go. So, fill up with ice. And then, if you want to, this is uh, Angostura bitters. This isn't optional. You just put a couple of drops onto your ice. And it makes it look pretty. Oh, it does look pretty. And also adds to the flavour. So, there we go. And then, I've got some straws here. That's it. Fantastic. That's a mint julep. I've never had one of these before either. Good to come with those new cocktails. I've got yeah. new cocktails. Well, Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thank you for joining us today. Mm. Oh, that is like a, a whiskey mojito, isn't it? Yeah. You've got, you got the mintiness. Very nice. Mm. So there you go, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth's just sending me in to see one for mint. <laughs> <laughs> We were right because yesterday we looked and they didn't have any, did they? Yeah, but it was lucky today. They lucky restocked. They did, yeah, yeah. Mm. Might have been to the garden. Cheers, Marilyn. Well, actually, it's kind of cheers, Marilyn. It's a bit. Um, if the old fashioned is too much for some people, you've got all that ice in there this mm. time, so it sort of dilutes it. Lovely. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. Mint julep. So thank you, everybody. That's the last green ice I've ever It's it? good, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Cheers, cheers, mm. Ruth. So thank you very much for joining us all again this week. Sorry everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's been lovely to see you all this week and catch up. It always goes by so quickly. I, I know, and I can't believe we always have so much news. Yeah, there's always something to do. We you. always have so much oh yeah. this week. Yeah, sometimes I think, oh, no, what am I gonna talk about this week? And it's just oh, well every always week something. there's something. Well everyone knows I can sit and talk to myself and <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Have a good weekend, Jan. Yeah, Cheers. thank you, Jan. Cheers, When Jilly. will the Carlisle trip list be on your site, please? Thank you. See you next week. Um, Jilly, if you go to the site, click through to retreats. retreats, on that front page, there'll be like a slider saying Brighton. What does it say? Brighton makes a telly. Scroll yeah. down West that, country. there'll be a little banner for the cruise, and then there'll be, it'll say Couture Retreat on that front home page. Yeah. Couture retreat with a contact form, or if you've got my email, which is amy at claire-tyler.com, mm -hmm. you can just send me an email and so say, just, please 
register yeah, my interest, your interest in the Carlisle retreat. Yeah, because numbers, I say numbers are limited on that one. So. Yeah, so I, as soon as I will get, as soon as I have all the details, I'll send them out. Yes. And update the website. Ah, oh, thanks Jill. Glad you enjoyed it this afternoon. I'm going to run. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Ains. So, we will uh, see you all next week. Do do join us. Oh, back. we've just got a couple of questions on Instagram. Because oh, um, we lose those. Don't, I thought we could answer those, uh, but we lose them once we stop being live. Can so, we... yeah, so just quickly, Kathy said it helps. Uh, I find it helps shopping in mood if you have some sewing plans. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, and then she had to go. Um, Cynthia, would it be necessary to take our sewing machines to Carlisle? Yes. Well, we could take but one not necessarily. Yeah, you can hire one from us. Yeah. We have six available for hire. In fact, so. I don't think we did to their sewing. So most of the couture jacket is done by hand. So I think we took three or four sewing machines. And it's for one, mainly the quilting. Yeah, ones. and everyone just shared them. Share them, didn't them. They? So, so we will. Just yeah, we'll discuss that. But I think probably Cynthia, the answer will be no. You don't need to. No. Um, I'll have. We'll have we'll our take four ours. sewing machines there, and then we can just share them because it's not that much machine sewing on the couture jacket. So. Right. Even though we only did samples last week. Was that everything on Instagram? That's everything, I think. Yeah, there was a few people joined in and left, oh, but yeah, lovely. that's... Thank you, everybody. That's it. Mm. So, oh, thank you, Suzanne. See you. What are we doing next week? Yeah, next time. Next time. I'm just thinking, what are we doing tomorrow? <laughs> Tomorrow's day off tomorrow. Tomorrow's day off tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be finishing all my solo long projects that we started this week. So it's been a fantastic week. Really lovely to see everybody. Do join us for solo longs coming up. Look out for our new video, which is going to be coming out um probably early next week won't it i think mm -hmm. um and uh yeah i hope to see you all soon <laughs> bye everybody, bye, everybody. lovely to so see you bye. 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 bye